What's up folks, this is Just Fox Media, it's another YouTube video. I'm going to move this thing over that's keeping this thing standing up. And we're going to continue on with Mass Effect 1. Oh, one second. Let's talk to Pressy. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you argue. Sounds like you don't trust our jury and guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having to chat with Adams down in engineering I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance brass is holding out on us? All we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system. Why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre? A Turian Spectre on a shakedown run. It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth system? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. And Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully stable? The skeleton crew would be cheap. Less chance of security leads, too. Plus there's Nihilus. For what? Damn if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. No, a lot of people are, mate. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, yes, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his melts, he could make a life-size statue of himself. <whistles> you don't send a soldier like that in a do nothing mission. By the way, I apologize for that little interjection when Presley was speaking. My bad. You don't trust Nile. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. Racist. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was a long time ago. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. Now, wait, hang on. No, I guess not. It still makes me nervous to have respect for Especially a Turian. We're an alliance vessel, a human <laughs> military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain of the Prestons. Inspectors operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. But wait, I have questions now. How old was his grandfather? Well, anyways, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see it. Good luck, Commander. Well, Jenkins is right. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Park too long, <laughs> will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this wind's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with the Spectre on board. Just read this like every other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the blitz. Everybody knows who you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. So now we're going to the basic dialogue. Nihilus. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Of Their they fleet are. has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well without them. Some people find them too rigid. Others to blame them for the first contact. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Spectres usually have that kind of reputation. Speaking of which... What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. 
inspectors operate above the law. But of course then they're human inspectors. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Inspectors usually come from the council races, like the We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Yeah. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good inspector. You're a war hero, right? Pull off an entire enemy fleet during the blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent inspectors are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The inspectors aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. I would make a comment on that, but it'd be a spoiler. So I'll just bide my tongue and say Spectres sound dangerous. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the council could remove Spectre status if an agent got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take them. Those c sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take them down. That's Spectre justice. <laughs> The corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. I like Jenkins. He's funny. Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the field, back to light from the main town. It was gorgeous. But. When I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise is boring after a while. I don't know. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. Can't wait for the real mission to start. The captain's waiting for us. Goodbye, Commander. Anyways, I'm assuming that's why they call it Eden Prime, because Eden was the first garden, Adam and Eve. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Why? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. <clears throat> I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Yeah. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it real? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time you told the commander what's real. This mission is far more than a simple... I mean, it's... Run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup of you. That's why we needed the cell system operation. Again, sorry about the interjection. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top. Information is strictly on the need to know things. A research team on you, sir. Other, some kind of beacon during an excavation. Oh. First, yeah. I thought the proteins vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Protean technology. This is Peach. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. Yes. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle them. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interest, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in the council space. God, do I never heard to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Huh? Nihilus wants to see you in action. He's here for the death. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Yeah. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see potential in your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy. No, oh, this is one. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we see. 
I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs you, Shepard. We're telling you. I need to see your skills for myself tonight. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions to get. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Now is the company to observe the mission. What do you know about the proteins? Just like I told us this week. They were a technologically advanced species that grew in the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or what. No I think it's perfect to do But everyone agrees. Galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the proteins a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farm, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proves we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes the American growth and evolution of the space-faring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on protean technology, even yours. <laughs> if we hadn't discovered those protean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small table. And it wasn't the of this beacon. What if it's a weapon? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong well, hands? Like you. The attitude of Earth isn't the most stable sector of the There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active on they might figure a protean beacon worth the risk of attacking an alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the terminus system. The Anakin Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. Some of the species in the terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. So before we continue, um, this is kind of limited time left, so actually now I'm going to try and hurry. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Shit. Bring it up on screen. That's not good. Oh shit, they're getting attacked. Get down! Ashley! Point five. How did you touch that? Status report. Seventeen minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us into the fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complex. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Helenko and Jenkins pursuit of. Going in. I'm gonna see if this works for a second. Perfect! Okay, so clearly that's a sign that we're going to stop here for now. And thank you for watching. I do hope you appreciate this video. You can like and comment and share this video if you want. You can subscribe to my channel or search my channel to find more videos like this. Or, and I'll get back to you more gameplays, books, songs, things like that. And I do apologize for those interjections while the dialogue was going on. Anyways, that's all I got. Thank you so much. This is Jasper Fox signing out.